Before this project gets started, just wanted to say that this project was a lot of repeated cuts, so I didn't film every piece that I cut and made, and it can get a little confusing because of that, but you can see in the sketch that I'm making right now that there's only five different size pieces that I needed to make. Um, the two end pieces, the dividers that are a little bit shorter than the end pieces, uh, the top and the bottom that stretch across the whole bookshelf, and then there's two different sized shelf pieces. Uh, the shorter ones go in the middle, and they're covered by the door, and then the longer ones go on the outside. Anyways, I hope that that clears up what I'm doing, and let's start the video. I started by gluing all the 2x6s into 2x12 panels. I could have just bought 2x12s, but this was cheaper and I actually wanted the round over in the middle. Then I cut the 2x12s into the different sized pieces that I needed. For the shorter pieces like the shelves, I just set up a stop block and cut them all at once. But for the longer pieces, I had to measure them all out and cut them individually. Then once I had all the pieces that I needed, I planed them all down to the same width. Since these shelves were going to be painted, I decided to use some Bondo to fill in all the cracks and knots in the wood to give it a really smooth surface. These bookshelves are going in our sunroom and a lot of the furniture in our sunroom has these grooves in it to make it look like they're panels glued together. I'm going to try to do the same thing just using the table saw. A lot of the longer boards were hard to get onto the table saw so I just used a circular saw and an edge guide to make the grooves. And now I'm just cutting the round over off of all the boards. And next before painting I marked and cut all the dados for the shelves to fit into. Now all the pieces are done, so I'm gonna put on a couple coats of white paint and I'm gonna sand in between coats.
Now all the pieces are completely finished, so I brought them into the sunroom and started assembling everything. I started by gluing and screwing the top, bottom, and side together to get the main bookshelf frame. Then I could start filling in the middle with the dividers, then the shelves. Kinda last second I realized that there's nothing for the sliding bar for the door to hang on. So I made a wooden beam to stretch across the whole bookshelf just by lap joining two shorter pieces of scrap together. Then I attached the wooden beam to the bookshelf just using screws. And now I'm just going to fill in the holes that I made for the screws with some plugs and then cut them flush. The sliding door came in a kit, so all I had to do was attach the wheels to the top of the door and the bar to the bookshelf. The idea for this bookshelf is that everything messy that you don't want people to see will go on the inside and then be covered by the doors and then you can keep all the decorative stuff on the outside two shelves.